Hello then, so welcome back to some Crusader Kings 3 with the D Normandy House. This series has been sponsored by Pax Britannica, a narrative history podcast of the British Empire, which I do highly recommend. If you want to support the channel, going through their unique link down below will uh, show your support greatly. We are at war with Scotland, so we have enough land to create our duchy. Shifting interests, I was watching Philippa play with the other children when Gwillem tried to push her over. The moments did not last long as Philippa soon had made an entirely new game out of it and forgotten the previous game entirely. Sure, she can be fickle if she so wishes. And we'll be taking our army up to the baronies of Argyle. Did I see a Scottish Navy perhaps? I did. And they are of course down at my capital. Let's go and deal with them first. Hopefully we don't take too long to arrive. Once again, losing my capital will be disastrous. Aldasians. Uh, vile people. Vile, they are vile. Once again, he attempts to leave. Well, let's see if we can uh, catch him. Yes, we can. Excellent. We already have 24% of the war score. Let's take the Barony of Anan, and then we'll uh, move on from there. I'm going to leave half of my force here. The other half, you are coming with me. Go sort this out. No, we don't even need all of you. We can split them half again. This small force is going to be the one that goes over to Anan. The other army. You are going to go all the way up to their capital in St. Johnston. Very good. This surely will not take too long. You can watch Winchester, please, sirs. Earl Henry's friendship. While the numerous attempts to carry my favour have not gone unnoticed, I cannot but feel but irritated by Earl Henry's sudden interest in me. No one sees his face again. Uh, why cannot leave me in peace? Or he can gain uh, opinion. It's only seven stress. Let's have the man like us a little bit more. A knight has arrived. We don't need a knight. Nice we do have some very good ones. So we'll leave everyone where they are. We could actually recruit Dobermere. No, everyone here is relatively, uh, relatively good. So we'll leave them where they are. The faithful prepare for war. My, uh, I'll gladly help finance this cause. No, I, I will uh, be interested in joining later on. First, I need to put my uh, own realm first. We need to win this war and then save up 1,000 gold. Paying for the war, raise additional taxes. Uh, cut non essential military spending. Yeah, let's cut some non essential spending here. A new perk is available. Levy reinforcement rates. That's a lot of levy reinforcement rates. Sure. I like it. Under supplied armies for three years. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. The army of peasants here has managed to do something. Let's get to council position again. Steward, we do have a duke who is relatively good. We'll uh, select them. We'll then take this army back down to liberate this land. Are they? No, they're besieging. So we're going to actually go over there and destroy them first before we start worrying about anything else. Excellent. Now let's go and liberate this land here, and we'll send you peasants into there. Well, not directly there, but the uh, Edinburgh Barony. Victory, of course. Well, glory to us. We can ransom some people. I think I will. I can change the Duke here's contracts. High taxes sound very good. Yes, they do. He'll be a little bit more upset, but who really cares what he thinks of all this? Gain a bit more money there. I'm actually gaining money with the army raised. I'm very uh, happy with that. These forces here are being paid for. Let's go ahead and disband them. If we need to raise more uh, men in the region, I'm sure we can. Ah. This is not my war. I lose a level of devotion and spend piety. Or we gain piety in Crusade. For Castile? Ah. The war chest receives prestige honor. Uh, 
this is not my war. What kind of a man are we here? Gregarious, diligent, arbitrary, yeah. Astute intellectual. This is not my war. We we have more important things to be doing here. At the moment. What have I done? What? Oh, get out of here, Pope. Scotland fought very hard for you in the last one. Keeps the trade deceit for uh yeah yeah. Gains honest, I gain a little bit of stress. We can afford some stress. And yes, we'll be doing a tax lean again. I'm just trying not to uh, upset everyone at the moment. What we concentrate on is our money. We need a thousand gold. So I'm not financing any crusades. No. What we want is Scotland dealt with. So we have all of the realm required to create this title. Baron of Sterling, if we require it, we'll march over there and get it started. Accusations of witchcraft? Who? Uh, a wandering woman in the realm. Um, gain some piety there. Let's go with the piety. Burn her crimes. Burn her for her crimes against God. Excellent. Let's just win these, and I'm sure that will be enough to have our victory over Scotland. But I wouldn't much rather take in this. Someone else. My wife is once again absent from our chambers as night falls. She has been distant lately, lost in thought and rarely seen in court. Am I not to her satisfaction? Is she simply busy, or should she? Could she be warming somebody else's bed? Ah, she would never disrespect the sanctity of our marriage. Never. She would never. 100% against Scotland. Excellent. We'll enforce our demands there. Very good. So be it. We've gained all the way around into here, looks like. Well, let's get out of Scotland. We need to uh, go and create our title as soon as we have the gold. Is there anybody here? Oh, Ransom. They're offering me who? Who's this kid? My prisoner. Ah, they're offering me money, yes. Well, I definitely accept that. Victory, of course. Crusade, you can wait. What we need to do is get rid of all of these people here. One of them was available for 100 gold, but they couldn't actually afford it. But we'll see how far this gets us. I'm sure quite far. Let's move for another 17 gold. Excellent. Soon we'll be able to crown ourselves Emperor. I don't think there's anything in the way here. I don't think, I don't think there's anything at all in the way. Oh, you are still raised. Let's expand you. It's costing us a few ducats. Which is definitely uh, something we need here. 1,000 gold. Let's click on this title. Let's see exactly what we can do. We can create the Empire of Britannia. And so we shall, gaining prestige and losing money. We are now a mighty emperor, the Emperor of Britannia, which means we can hold a fair few more knights. Excellent. Emperor William of Britannia. Now my glory is widely known. We can ransom the Duchess there, sure. Titles can be created. Well, yes. Yes, I'm sure they can. Excellent. Good deal there. Looks like you have joined the crusade. No, you're defending against Glamorgan in a liberty war. Glamorgan. That's not you, is it? It is you. Okay, well, can we tell you to stop that? Demand his conversion. Might accept. So let's see if he does. I only wish for your salvation, my friend. And a notable guest has arrived. Well, good for you, but uh, we're more interested in some other things right now. Oh, Jesus, so many of these people that... Uh, wait, that's not what I'm after. So many of these people we need to get rid of. I can ask for gold from you. Sure. I'll use it wisely. Not opposed to money. Empty council positions will go for a strong person here. There is a duke. We'll assign him. He's not very good at it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, who's this? 
You believe we have something to gain, do you? You're a coward, I decline. More people joining up, good for them. Can't ransom anybody at the moment. But we are glorious, glorious Britain now. Let's see what we can do. Can we declare war on you for the, uh, the claim there? We can seize these your county or duchy. Ah, I'd rather that than the isle, though. And her claim is actually on all of them. Svindhald, who is she? Oh, it's this lady. Okay, yeah, we'll press her claims against the uh, Norwegians. Declare the war. They already have an army in our land. We'll raise our force and go and deal with them real fast, I'm sure. Off to Carrick we go, chaps. We do have to keep a uh, close eye on them, though, if they do try to get to our capital. No, it's just over here in Ireland. Well, let's win this siege and then uh, sail over. Oh good, we don't actually need to ship to get over to Ireland. I'm surprised. I thought we would. It seems my dealings with Earl Gregory may have accidentally made certain promises and exemptions. I can salvage this. Earl Gregory gets a weak gunk on you. No, we'll just accept a few less taxes. We didn't catch them. Huh. Well, let's go over to the barony here and secure this land. I'm sure we will have everywhere occupied, it won't be that. Oh, what on earth is that? That is a Polish army. He has alliances, one of which is with Poland. It's not a very elite force, though. Let's start marching down. And what we'll do is we'll spend some of our money here to improve the amount of forces we have. 600 light footmen, you say? How about a few more? Got a few more of you as well. Oh yes, you too, you're more than welcome. More of you, please. Can't quite increase you, but we can get some more of you. Maximum size, well. This army will grow as we uh, go down. That'll help us out a lot. They are starting to besiege my lands. We need to get down here soon. Suture perk available. Is there anything we can do? Any cornerstones go on an obligation. Uh, well, let's go with that. I'm not sure if any of these things are really any good for me right now, but let's make our way down south and deal with these fools before they secure my capital, ideally. Yeah, it's quite an army. 9,000 of them around here, but they're all very low quality. A curse undone. The twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows that I was cursed the day I met Ra. Today, however, the curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that impotent spawn of hell to his grave. Ra is gone. Not a day too soon. Now, my army is getting close, but I'm not sure if we'll quite arrive on time. Yes, we will, and we have. We have a high quality. They have decent quality. They do have, have reinforcements on the way, so I'm not sure if this battle will go in our favour. And we can't afford mercenaries either. Or we could, but they would stick us into death. Yes, I could not hire them. Let's hope that this here goes well. We, we're not going to have all of the knights required. But hopefully we can do well. No, we're getting absolutely slaughtered here. We have elite quality to their decent quality. Though. I'm surprised it's gone so badly. I really am. That was much worse than I thought it could have possibly gone. An empty steward position. We'll give that to Duke of Lancaster. That was really bad. I didn't think it would go anywhere near that bad. We lost 2,000 left. and lost 740. I thought of our higher quality troops. That was the whole point of this game. Would be that we would um, be able to defeat them a lot more. We had so many more forces than they did. Um, better quality forces. 400 of these chaps to 100. Oh, they did have 400 there, but then we had all of these chaps. Oh, they had a light footman, 1,000. Well, okay, maybe not then. Maybe these armies together did have as many as I did. I thought that is where I was going to have my big bonus. Count of empty. 
kill 40 men. Counter to the enemy. Of Rene. What a great man, but no, our army did, did take a bit of a beating. A heck of a bit of a beating. Um, the right, for, the right to rule England belongs to Earl Humphrey of Sussex. Oh, not this man. The faction to install Earl Humphrey. How strong is it? Oh, it looks like it is everyone. The entire realm wants Humphrey. Really? Humphrey? You want this man to be your king? Vengeful, fickle, lazy. Look at this man. He's, as dep he's depressed as fuck. You want him to be your king? Really? Uh, I guess I have no choice. He gains everything. Uh, ba Borough of Hexham, Appleby, Bishopric, Portsmouth, City there, Earldoms, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, I have se I have 7. Winchester is not listed, though, so I'll be what? The single, the Lord of... No, that's, that's Hampshire. Does he take Hampshire? Yeah, he does. I don't think I'm left with anything. Let's have a look at my own character here. Oh, that's the right to rule England as well. That's not the uh, emperorship. I will not be threatened. War declared. Rally the troops. What is this nonsense? Look at it. My entire realm is rallying against me here. The fools. Ay ay ay. White peace at all? Enforce demands at all? Surrender. I have to pay the man. But a surrender is probably necessary. Ay ay ay, look at all this nonsense. My whole realm is up against me. Apparently I'll die on the way. Uh, who are you? Where are you? Looks like he's just going to be inside of his own little area there. I can't see him leading an army. Are we even going to be able to win this? Philippa is of age. Great. Uh, the crap real fast. No, we uh, we are done here. We are done. We're going to have to surrender both of these wars. That is... Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to have to surrender here. Yeah. Ah, ah. I don't think he's taking my Irish land. Yeah, he's not taking Dublin. So I suppose my capital will have to be all the way over there. Um, right. I, I surrender. Yes. I surrender. He is now the King of England. But he is still my vassal. And now I'm ruling from Ireland. Oh no. This has not been a uh, way a way that I wanted this to go at all. Oh my goodness. We don't have too much land over here. Just the three duchies. Peasantry is not very strong. We still have all of our man at arms. Which are very expensive to keep up. And we are at peace. That is really not great. Our heir is unmarried. Marriott to the King of England. Yeah, sure. Marriott to the King of England. Matrilini, he will not accept. But it's still the same guy. We'll go ahead and uh, go with that. Empty council positions. Chance that we'll give that to... Duke William there. Stewardship will give that to Duke... There... Marshall, we'll give that to uh, the King of England. Sure. Look at this nonsense. We got bamboozled. We really did. But we have the Emperor Tear, which is what we wanted this for in the first place. Can't declare war on you. We're in debt. We're going to be in debt for quite some time. Princess can be ransomed, but. Uh. Oh no. My capital is gone. My glorious, glorious capital. We rule now from Dublin. I have more important things going on at the moment. I'm trying to uh, find some money. I can change her contract. Put her taxes on high. Uh, give her title protection there. It's not really gaining us much, is it? Don't even know if I use that. Did I forget to use the hook? I was just uh, 
a little bit bamboozled. We were supposed to secure these lands, but instead we got our asses kicked by the Polish. I should have checked his lines. I just I haven't had this issue happen so far in the game, so I wasn't expecting it. And we are at the end of this campaign, really, as well. I think. A little bit of border gore, but ay ay ay. What a what a bit of chaos, eh? The realm. Oh, we can actually pass this law as well. Great. That'll uh, that'll keep everyone happy. Matilda has come of age. Well, f terrific. We'll find her a spouse. There is uh, the Duke of Lancaster. Actually, we'll go ahead and send that proposal through. Very good. Bankrupt. I am indeed bankrupt. I will owe the Countess money. Yeah, she helps me out. She's gained a favoured look on me. Oh no, my realm. What has happened to you? Alliance with Lancaster now, though. People can be ransomed again. We'll uh, take 11 gold from you. I could wait and get 50, but. Ay, ay, ay. Vassals demand cancel positions today. Ooh, anybody good for this spot here? No, they all hate me. I don't want somebody who hates me in charge of my spy masters. Yeah, it's really gone down the pan since William was in charge. Faction again? Liberty faction? Excessive tariffs? What? Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Unraised man at arms and minus five darkets as well. That's quite, uh, quite a lot there. Oh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is definitely uh, more historical ac has historically accurate. The um, the wars were all far too well. The realm was far too easy to manage in Crusader Kings too. It, it very rarely broke apart like this. And we've had a few decent sized civil wars here. Professional workforce, well, that's not something we are too worried about at the moment. But how come my capital has ended up in Dublin? He's even taken my uh, knight building, that cheeky man. Oh well. Um, I, think, uh, I think I have found the end of this campaign. Now, it's been uh, going on for a while, and it'd really just be uh, a few more wars over here once we've got our strength together. I. Uh, oh, let me show. Oh! Uh, what happened here? Died in childbirth. Oh. Did you at least get the child? Yes, you did. Princess Isabella. Is she my heir? No, that was actually my younger daughter. Was it? Hey. Daughter of King... A Why on... Uh, I don't know who this man is. I thought we married her to the English chap. My daughter and heir is dead. Yes, please enter and pay the gold on your left, good sir. Ha! He's now betrothed to uh, Queen Anna? What? No? My daughter is dead. He is now betrothed to uh, some lowborn, of course he is. And my heir is my other daughter, not my grandchild. Probably because has a, uh, she has a son. We have uh, Humphrey here, but they're of the incorrect dynasty. That's one of the problems with uh, daughters that could have gone for the uh, match room, but no. I think I have reached the end with this campaign anyway. I uh, want to try and get a lot of different campaigns done. I want to experience the game as much as I can. We have founded the Empire, and uh, I have enjoyed it. So how did they take that back? Who knows? Well, thank you for watching anyway. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I might continue it. I might not. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, this is a good point for an end anyway. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the campaign. And it was, of course, sponsored by Pax Britannica, the uh, narrative history podcast of the British Empire. And if you go ahead and click on the links down below, it will help me a lot in uh, securing a future for the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.